Hi there. Uh, I just wanted to go over a little project I just did on my Pantera here. And for those of you who have Panteras, it is not as easy. It's actually pretty easy once you get there. And I, I should have taken more pictures along the way, but I'll be doing the other side now that I know how to do it. Um, anyway, what I did is I had the problem where the gear, as you can see right there, broke. This is a plastic gear and you can see cracks there, there, and this, this window gear ended up breaking for the Pantera. And this is a pretty common problem. So um, what I did is I did the Ford Aerostar uh, window motor conversion. And you can see that it's much smaller. Another one hung down a little bit further here. And here's the window motor right here and I had a cut. Here's a regulator here. This is a pain in the butt to get out and really to get it out this arm needs to be straight right here. So if you uh, if you have to take this out, um, basically I, it took me like an hour to figure out how to get this thing out, maybe two, I don't know, because I'm like how the heck do you get this out? So the first thing you do is you take out and there's two bolts and you can loosen up the window and I put a suction cup up on the window and that holds the window in place. Then you take out the 10 millimeter bolt here and then the bottom of that one you take the, out the 10 millimeter bolt here and then you take off the screw here and that allows this part here which is what actually runs the regulator up and down that allows that to come out. Now after you get that out then you've got some room and this is actually where the regulator has to come out so if it's pointed up or if it's pointed down you can't get this thing to wiggle out of here it's a real pain in the butt and uh and i actually did it. So, someone before me had actually apparently twisted or whatever and kind of bent this in to try to get some room but uh the basic fact is this just needs to be straight so anyway uh, i did this conversion it was fairly simple uh, once i did it you do have to actually cut the regulator out so once you do that you're done you're not going to put the original regulator back in um, the one problem i had was on the motor this gear sticks out so far and most of the gears that you buy are flush so it took a little bit of finagling and a little bit of grinding and stuff like that to make up for the distance. So I want to show you this on the on the car. Here's the window. And I'll show you on this side. Here's the stock window. Goes down. Then it goes up. Almost, almost. There it is. Okay, and here's the new one. Boop. Look at that. Nice, huh? And then you can see the mechanism in here. So that's uh, that's the basic thing. Let me uh, go ahead and turn off the key so I don't run the battery dead. And I've got to show you my keychain. You know, I, I have had this keychain for years, and I thought, you know, this is the ideal car for my ZZ Top keychain. But anyway, so that's that's the deal. Um, I'm busy putting the door panel back on, but I wanted to film this first. Uh, people say take off the linkage, take off all this stuff. You don't have to do any of that. Um, the one thing I did, you can see the whole inside of the door is black. Uh, when I looked up on the top, I don't have my flashlight with me, but all this frame up here, all was rusty. It all had this layer of rust and all the way down there because, you know, it's this era of car. They didn't really do much to keep the water out. So I took rust stop paint and painted the holy bejesus out of this uh the entire interior of the door while i had the motor out and the regulator assembly and everything else when i had everything out then i was able to actually just get in there and i just painted the crap out of it 
Uh, I, the bottom of the glass has a little paint on it, but that's not hurting anything because it doesn't show. And uh, I just held it up there with one of these big suction cup thingies that you can get at Harbor Freight. And these are awesome because you can, you can put this on the window on the outside and then you suck it on there and you bounce it against the, uh, the glass here and that keeps it from dropping down. So again, uh, go over this little review. To get this regulator out, if you can get this to move, get this straight. Okay, get this straight. Right now it's in the up position. You want this level, just down like two inches. Okay, if it's down, you're not gonna get it out. If it's all the way up, it's gonna be a pain in the butt. Uh, get that straight, take out the screw. Okay, once you take out that screw, take out this bolt, the 10 millimeter on the bottom right here. The regulator will come down once you get the screw out. Then up here, there's two 10 millimeter bolts that bolt the glass to the regulator assembly. Let Once this is off, you can let that down and take out those two screws first. You're probably better off to take, do the glass first. But anyway, take out those two 10 millimeter bolts, put the glass back up, uh, secure the glass in some way so it doesn't fall down, because it will, especially once you get everything out. And then go ahead and take this piece out first. This will drop down, drop down sideways, and you can pull it right out through this bottom hole. After you get it out that bottom hole, now go ahead, take off one, two, uh, three, four bolts, secures the regulator, unplug the motor, and the, the new motor is a little longer and it takes a little bit more finagling to get in and out and it's got some other cluster stuff. It's got the uh, emergency release that sticks out here, all that's 